Today I want to show you a simple rhythm based exercise for all instruments that you can work on in the practice room to improve your jazz improvisation. And this exercise is really cool. It kind of works on a lot of different things at once. Works on improving your time feel, helps you work on using different kinds of subdivisions, and it also helps you work on creating longer flowing lines. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to show you in one second. Come in right up. Hey, what's up? Brent here from Learn Jazz Standards, which is a blog, a podcast, and videos all geared towards helping you become a better jazz musician. If you haven't subscribed to the channel before, make sure you do that down below to get locked in to everything that we have going on here. So I believe I first came upon this exercise at a Fred Hirsch master class, and he was just showing this simple exercise, however challenging exercise, for utilizing different subdivisions over the form of a jazz standard. So here's how the exercise goes. You take any jazz standard that you know really well, you set up a metronome or you set up a backing track, and every eight bars you change up the subdivision and you just play continuous notes. So you start with eight bars of only half notes, and then the next eight bars only quarter notes the next eight bars only eighth notes and finally the next eight bars only triplets so that covers 32 bars of a 32 bar song form to demonstrate this exercise i'm going to use the jazz standard all the things you are to show you what i'm talking about here and i'm going to go ahead and use band in a box in order to give some harmonic context i'll link that up above or also put that in the description below if you're interested in that software but of course working with a metronome is also a really good idea to always do in the practice room all right so let's do it So I like doing this exercise and suggesting it to students because I think it works three things. Number one, it really kind of helps work your time feel. You may notice that you may start speeding up when you switch to triplets, for example, or maybe you don't lock in the time as well when you're switching those subdivisions. So number one is it really helps with your time feel and improving on that. Number two is it really helps you be creative using the subdivisions that are forced upon you. So it is actually quite fun to take half notes and create melodies out of them and still try to outline the chord changes that's a really fun interesting challenge and then on the other side of the spectrum when we get to the triplets it's really hard to keep a continuous stream of triplets and create something creative and not just a big flow of notes going together and then number three is that it really helps you work on creating longer flowing lines. So if you ever have the problem of just these slightly st starting and stopping and broken up lines, this can really help you exercise that by exaggerating the process. These exercises are obviously not how you would want to improvise, but it's a good thing to do in the practice room to work on these concepts. So go ahead and try that out this week. I would love to hear how that goes for you. Leave in the comments below how this exercise went for you, how you thought it was helpful, and I would appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as always, and I'll see you in the next video.